Social media pop-up for OBS Studio, mostly for live streamers, but if you're recording with OBS Studio, you can also use this. I'm gonna show you the free template that I made just for you. Yeah, completely free. I'm gonna show you how to customize it, how to export your little social media pop-ups, and how to put them together and add them to OBS Studio. <gasps> Let's go. All right, step number one, go to photopia.com. Yeah, I know it's photopia, I like pronouncing it photopia. Click on PSD templates, go up there in the little search bar. Where is it? Right there. Type my name, Gail Level. My name, not Jeff. And you're gonna see social media pop up. If it's not like top left, it's gonna be somewhere. I'm gonna be adding more stuff. And look at that, it's beautiful. Click on it and uh, wait for it to load. And there you go. Now, explaining everything in the little tab right there, we have our basic bar. So this is like the background that I created. And then on top of it, we will have the logos and the colors and then the text, of course. Text is all the way up top. All you have to do is double click on the T and then type whatever you want. I'm almost 32, by the way. If your name is too long, what you can do is while you have the text selected, you can go to window, click on character. And then you got, you're going to have this tab and you can play around with the size by clicking on the word size, dragging down or inputting exactly what you want. Nice. Okay. So how does the logo plus color work? We're going to have Twitch, for example, if I want, um, I'm going to turn off the YouTube section that is red, right? And the bar is originally purple. So all I have to do is add the logo. Boom. And there you go. I got my logo, right? Now, if I want Twitter, I'm going to turn off the Twitch logo. I'm going to click Twitter color and then I'm going to click Twitter logo. Now I have Twitter logo. So turn off, turn on, IG, turn off, turn on, boom. That's it. Okay. It's that simple, like straight up. You can go and unfold this. And if you want to play around with it, do whatever you want. It's yours. Okay. It's a template. Now, if you want to export it, this is where it gets still easy. I was going to say complicated, but no. Let's go ahead and cl click uh, for Twitch. And I'm going to click file. I'm going to click export as PNG click save and we're going to go with Twitch, right? I'm going to turn this and we're going to do this Twitter thing, file, export, PNG, boom, call it Twitter, turn on Instagram, file, export, PNG, whoop, IG, file, export, YouTube, and then we're Gucci. So YouTube would probably not be an at, I guess Twitch would not be an at either. It doesn't matter. You, you put the text, okay? Export as PNG, YouTube. And there you go. All right. Now, how do we quote unquote animate this and how do we put it in OBS Studio? It's just a bunch of images. Now, depending on the service that you're using, I know a lot of people use Streamlabs for their alerts or Stream Elements. Both will absolutely work. How do you do it in Stream Elements, for example? Let's click on a new overlay. You don't have to click on new overlay, but I'm just going to show you on a new overlay. If you want to put this to your own overlay that you already have in Stream Elements, that's completely fine. You can do that too. All right. Uh, 1080p might not actually be the size that I'm looking for. And you're going to see on Photopea, bottom left, we actually have the total size of everything. So it's 1280 by 349. So if we want, we can put this by, by the correct resolution, but that doesn't matter. Let me go ahead and click on the plus at the bottom here. Actually, you can't see this, whatever. You don't need my face. Click on the plus to add something and we're going to find under static slash custom. We're going to find asset rotator slash slideshow. We're going to click there and then here while we have this selected, we're going to find where we can actually set the position and style right there. And we're going to put the appropriate width and height. What was it? 1280 by 349, 349. Okay. Now let's go back to settings and we're going to add an asset. We're going to click the plus here. We're going to go to upload top right and we can drag and drop. I'm going to select the ones that I created. There's four of them drag and drop and wait for it to upload. Nice. They're all uploaded and I believe we have to select them one by one. We can click submit and then click on add asset again. Click submit again submit again submit okay so here in the settings what we have is basically delay that is if you want each image to wait before the other one shows up if you want it to end and then show up uh usually keep this at zero you don't want that iteration pause is basically how much time you want it to wait before it starts over again so if you want you know your socials to show up and then for five minutes they don't show up this is where you would put that time right now i'm keeping it on zero just so that it loops and then you can show the each image for a certain amount of time keep in mind that with stream elements you can actually add gifs i believe to this so that is something if you want animated stuff that are also doing a slideshow you can also randomize the playback if you want it to show random 
um, and not in order. And then at the bottom, we're going to find animation settings. So we don't have to do just fade in, fade out. That's probably, you're probably like, wow, we're just going to do fade in, fade No, no, no. There's a bunch of animations that you can actually choose from here. Let's do bouncing up, for example, and we can do bouncing out as an out animation. So it depends on what you want, but you can play around with it until you find something that you feel is uh, pretty cool. <laughs> there you go. And just like that, we're going to name it, calling it socials SE, and I'm going to click save top right to make sure that it's safe. And then I can click on the link icon here to copy the browser source link. Then we're going to bring in OBS. So in OBS, what we're going to do is click plus in our scene, click on browser call it whatever you want, click OK. From here, it's going to show you this. This is basically the default. You can delete the link that is in there and just paste the one that you just copied. Click OK and it should appear. Right, I can't see the preview. It is right there. Now, as you can see, uh, it's cropped like that. That's because you want to match the actual size. Remember, it was 1280 by 349, I believe. And there it is. From there, you can absolutely take it and just place it wherever you want. And again, you can control the delay straight in stream elements. That's it. That's how easy it is to actually get that one going. Now, how to do it if Streamlabs is the thing that you use? Pretty much the exact same principle, except I believe they call it sponsor banner. So we're going to go into search after logging in with our Twitch account to Streamlabs, of course. And we're going to go find sponsor banner settings. I already have some stuff from a previous tutorial. By the way, this one is also free. So look at my YouTube channel. You're going to find them. And I'm going to just delete all of that. And basically, it's going to bring you here and it will ask you to add an image. And right here, you can add an image. Boom. We're going to hover over the plus and then click on select image to actually go to upload. And here we can also drag and drop like we did previously. Drag, drop, wait. Oh, for some reason, Streamlabs is like, please upload only three files at the time. OK, that's weird, but all right. OK, uh, that took ages with Streamlabs. It's kind of weird. So we're going to add them. We're going to select the Twitch. We're going to go add image. Same thing. And then add go to uploads. Find the Twitter. Select. OK, last one's going to be IG select they're not even they're barely showing them to me like it's being so weird i'm gonna put them at uh, five seconds each just to show you but you can put them at whatever so that's going to be the, the image duration how long each image is gonna show and as you can see with streamlabs we actually have more options because we can pick per image how long so if you have a very important social you want to stay longer we can do that so widget hide duration is how much time you want it to stay hidden i'm gonna put it zero here just so we can do the loop and uh there it is Okay, the fold animation is a bounce in. And in this case, we actually cannot, I believe we cannot pick the out animation. So one animation in, one animation out. But again, we have a bunch of animations. I believe, yeah, we definitely have just a little bit more than stream elements apparently. But overall, uh, less creative since we cannot pick the animation out. <laughs> Why? Wow. Yeah, that also messes with the with the size. So don't use the, the hinge. So the animations are not not so great. We're going to keep it there. And here, as you can see, we have banner width and height. And this is where we can actually check the, the width and height. We're kind of limited from what I'm seeing here. But this is what we're going to input into OBS later on when we're adding our source. All right. OK, now we need to save save settings. OK, make sure it's saved. It says that it's saved top right. And then up here, we're going to see the URL. You can click copy and it copies it in your clipboard. Boom. Now you can get into your OBS, click plus, go to browser. And this one is social Streamlabs. Replace that one link with yours. And remember to put the width and height, which was 720 by 250. Click OK. And your animation should be showing. Let me take a pick, a peek, a pick, a peek. What happened there? Oh, there it is. Nice. So you can see two ways to add those things into OBS. Why is it? Why is it being weird here? OK, we're good. Are we? It's being cut a little bit, which is weird, but we're going to adjust the width a little bit more. We're going to go to 800. I'd rather it be 
too big than not enough. And it's just that simple. If you enjoyed this video, you might want to know about Twitch's sub goal bar and how you can actually customize it to make it look cooler than everyone else. It's all going to be right there in this video. Check it out. In the meantime, go out there and make me proud. Get level out.